So this week coming up is Naomi's birthday and I'm going to go into Hobby Lobby for some things. One of the things she really wants is one of those like creative arts wood burners. I looked at them on Amazon last night but I thought, you know what, I always love to get myself into a Hobby Lobby so what a great reason to go in. I also have a list of other goodies I'm gonna be looking for and I'm gonna show you what Hobby Lobby has at the store right now. Now some of these forest themes go with the kids' bathroom but I guess a pillow wouldn't really uh, fit in the bathroom, huh? And don't forget when you shop at Hobby Lobby to pull, always pull up the 40% off coupon on your phone. So I found some fun things in Hobby Lobby and now I need to go into Staples because of course my kids, they've run through all the tape. We need new tape for our tape dispensers and some other things on my list. Invisible tape, I wonder if that's gonna fit my holders. Yes, these will fit and since they're marked down, I'm gonna get two of them. Maybe that'll get us through a month or so, huh? So I have been so intrigued looking at these. I think I've stood here for like 10 minutes. These are these little books, okay? Rocket Book Everlast. So for $34, you get this little notebook. It comes with a special pen. Someone else opened this, I didn't. And then you can send your writing to any of these cloud services and you wipe your page and you write again. I don't know, it just seems so interesting to me as an avid journaler. Write it down with the pens, capture your notes, wipe it clean, it's just fascinating. So at Hobby Lobby yesterday, I got this beautiful pillow. It says, always be thankful. And, of, and it, has, it has this print on the front and then some black and white check on the back. I thought this was so beautiful. I'm going to, probably gonna put this in my rocking chair, but we'll also try it on the futon. I think if I do put it on our futon, which is our makeshift family couch at the moment, I think, you know, we'll get lots of mess on it. But if it stays in my rocking chair, it has hope. It might live to see another day. So the price on this was, it's an expensive price, $24.99. But then of course, you know how things go. It was like half off there. Also, I've been looking for something special to put above our entryway door now that the painting is done. And this is what I landed on what I took home, I thought it was so beautiful. I just love all the like printed signs and pillows that they have at Hobby Lobby. I could just have, you know, have them all everywhere. I do have, one of my favorites is the one up there. It says, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Love it, so if I could have 10 of those, uh, I would. <laughs> so I was actually looking for something that maybe didn't have wording on it just because um, I don't want to overdo it. But then again, I love it. So yeah, let's overdo it. And then if you all remember back my Pioneer Woman haul I did last winter where I got a lot of new like Pioneer Woman coffee mugs, we broke three in one day. And I've noticed they've just, it's almost been a year. They're starting to disappear. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna get myself some fresh mom coffee mugs. So I got this one, y'all need Jesus. I thought that one was funny. And that one is, okay, seven, $7.99 if you see that. But that one was half off as well. And then this one, simple mug has the green that I love. I think this was probably another $7.99, but again, another one that was half off. Thought the kids would enjoy these candy buttons today. I don't think they've ever had these, so that'll be fun. And then Naomi has a photo cabinet. This is another test, like how long have you been around at this channel? It's the ca cabinet, it's this green color. I got it at the farmhouse to be my photo cabinet. Well now, that is Naomi's kind of project cabinet in her room, and it's missing the little some little knobs. So I picked these up. They were regularly $3.99 and I got them for $0.99. Cents. I really, I was overwhelmed when I was looking at all the knob choices. I thought, okay, the next one I see that is on clearance is the set she's getting, so these one. Then when I went into Staples and I showed you all all those glorious journals, which I resisted, I did get the kids, it's 20 rolls of tape total between each of these to refill their tape dispensers so the crafting can continue. So now let's decorate. We will test out this pillow here in my mama rocking chair. Let's give it the eyeball there. Let's see. I 
think I like it. I'm going to hang this sign above the door here. Okay, that is how it looks. Now, I did not take the time to properly measure and hang it. I am using two nails that I had there for a wreath. So I will, I will be handing that job out to another person to actually get the nails on there correctly. But that is how it looks and I really love it there. I do, I do. Here's how the red on the front door turned out. There's a lot of noise out here right now because Travis is uh, using his backhoe and stuff. But here is our already dirty kitchen door, but it is nice and red. And yeah, need to knock the cobwebs down. And if you haven't seen it in any videos yet, here's how our little sitting room area, as we call it, has turned out. A lot of you have asked me where I've gotten these stained glass windows. I have several. I have this one, and I have the birds over here. The birds my mom ordered me last year for Christmas. See Travis out there working them. <laughs> but there's 10 birds on there, and we're a family of 10 as of this moment. We'll just add little birds as we go along. But those, I believe, she actually got it on sale. It's like a zoo lily sale. Here's another one you all asked me about. This is a another one that I got on eBay probably 10 years or so ago. Here is another one that's in our room. This has always been one of my favorites. And this is another one in our room. Now the story with this one is I actually made this one way back when I was pregnant with Jade and I did a stained glass class. And in our first house, we had a laundry room that had a little countertop in it. And I set that up as my stained glass working area. So this is the biggest one I've ever done on my own. And it's not, uh, all the dimensions are not proper on it, but it's special. I made it during a real special time. 